everybody welcome back to my, cha my channel it's eva from bohemian crafting today i'm coming to share with you some uh, cute beautiful and i do believe simple ideas how you can create uh, tea bags holders pouches boxes or envelopes uh, it's coming christmas time and stocking time and maybe christmas uh, craft markets so for those who would like to create something like this from book pages or from some decorative uh, paper, I hope you will enjoy my tutorial. As a first uh, tea bag holder, we're gonna do double pocket tea bag holder. It's very easy. You don't need any specialty tools, and you can definitely use book pages. You need book page which is double. Uh, of the size of your bag in this this measurement I do have this book page so I'm gonna fold this across I'm gonna create square of the book page so fold it here in this corner and match this side with this side that way you are creating your square I'm gonna grab scissors and cut off here the rest of the book page like this i'm gonna keep it this way i'm gonna grab tea bag and place the tea bag here kind of um, just believe in yourself if you don't believe or don't trust yourself grab the ruler make a little mark where there is a middle of your tea bag like mine is somewhere here and with this middle of your tea bag try to match this top so place your tea bag kind of like in the middle of your triangle here and then fold one side and then fold the other side you don't have to make it too tight just to fold these Once you do have folded these sides, open it. And because it's just plain book page, grab some decorative stickers or I'm going to take washi tape and I'm going to decorate the sides. When you will have it folded all together, this will be here. This will be over it. And this will be folded this way. So you will see this, 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 and these corners here and here. So when you are going to decorate it, think about that. Or think of that. So you will don't waste too much of your material. You can pre-fold it this way. And take stamps or stickers enjoy this process take your sewing machine if you do like sewing effect grab your sewing machine and do some sewing it's about decoration about you will enjoy it and you will have a fun with creating these do not stress about anything because craft supposed to be something where you will relax not that where you will uh, be crazy about measurements and crazy about oh if is it two millimeters here two millimeters there no don't think about that because this is really easy so we do have decorated this now i can uh, put a little bit of glue here on this top that will be covering the other side place it over it now i'm gonna fold these two together here i can either put again a little bit of glue and place these two together i can grab my crocodile and put their eyelet i can hang there some decoration or tie there a bow and i'm gonna just take this fake suede and hang it there I 
can put some clusters here or some decorations. Uh, I've got many questions about my holder for ephemera, this one, and this collapsible envelope. I do have these tutorials on my Patreon. Now they are on sale, so I will put link down below. And when I'm speaking about tutorials, I've got question uh, on Instagram on these books. Uh, these are books which I have created with my Patreons as well. They are cascading books where the pages are as a village. And once you flip them all over, you will get to this starry night sky. And uh, it's all wrapped in beautiful dome shape. So I do have this tutorial also on my Patreon, including all digitals. Here is also the starry night. And you can create these as a photo album or if you will print it out smaller, you can create this one as a Christmas card, unusual Christmas card. And uh, put there your beautiful message to a receiver. So uh, I will put links for all these tutorials down below for the collapsible envelope, uh, this one, and those domes. Here I'm going to create maybe some little cluster. I'm going to have a look. <laughs> yeah, after skating ice, I can get a tea. Oh, maybe this one. Here and this, I'm gonna place it there. I like that idea that after skating, I'm definitely gonna have a tea. I always had or hot chocolate. And maybe here some greenery, maybe. So I found in my stuff, these are actually stickers. I can take them off from that acetate piece, but I'm not going to do it uh, because I actually like to add them here just, just like this. Maybe stick them with this one. So receiver can take it off and use it. So if I will glue it here or with the edge, yeah, I can do that. And now the one back here, other back here, and we do have cute little packaging with teas. Another tea bag I'm gonna create from a very small book page. This one, gonna have a look. One, two, nearly three tea bags I can fit here in this size. So first I'm going to fold the book page here on the bottom, kind of in the size, slightly bigger than it's my tea bag. And to fold that book page straight, uh, I'm going to match this side with that side underneath and that should help me to keep the rest straight in the same size. We're going to have a look. Oh yeah. Now, because uh, I would like to fit the two tea bags, I'm going to fold it on half first. Then I'm going to place one tea bag here, another tea bag here fold it so i know that it will be uh, suitable for two tea bags but it will be not too tight and i'm gonna fold this one over i did marked the sides so now i can fold this one here or the other way Actually, and this one, the opposite side, the other way. I'm 
I'm gonna use a glue or I can use straight away some washi tapes, decorative washi tapes and just use washi tapes over the edges. I don't even have to use a glue for gluing these sides. can do some decoration so I can uh, add there more washi tapes or I can add there some clusters if I will find the end of that washi tape I'm gonna use it And I do have another very small, cute little tea bag holder. For one tea bag, I'm gonna use again same uh, book page. I'm gonna uh, fold it again in the size of the tea or tea bag. But this time, I'm gonna rid off of this. I'm gonna fold this one over it. And here, this uh, kind of like ripped off piece, I'm gonna use as an extension here. I'm gonna place it here, put the glue on the edge of this paper. Fold it over. Now here I can rid of the extras. I do have three similar folds. Now this one where I did use uh, extra page to, to make it uh, in the same size. I'm gonna fold this way. I'm gonna fold that book page here to that fold to create kind of like angle this way. And again, I'm gonna be using washi tapes and decorate with washi tapes the edges of that book page. And with super easy gluing together, I do have here another little pouch. Super easy, you don't need any specialty tools, just your imagination and a little bit of time. And you can create really cute little gift 
well I didn't glue this bottom so I'm guessing here I'm gonna do same like before I'm gonna grab two stickers one and then some other one maybe some greenery or this one maybe this one and I'm gonna just use this medical tape and I'm gonna tape it over and with that I'm gonna seal the bottom a little bit like this so that will prevent that will save the bottom of the pocket so the tea bag will don't fall out and I do have cute little tea bag holder with a little gift inside with those stickers inside that's another cute little tea bag holder made from book pages without any specialty tool here I'm gonna glue this better way. Now for those who would like to send a little bit more dimensional box with the teas inside i do have here i hope easy to follow uh tutorial i'm gonna take now uh, kind of like double page it is from book which was 24 centimeters tall and 16 centimeters in the width in inches nine and a half by six and one quarter i will say and i'm using uh, this double page i'm gonna take three tea bags and kind of measure but it's not exactly it's just you know just a little ish something like ish so i want to have a nice box which will fit at least three tea bags so i'm gonna be using those three tea bags to measure i do have open my book page this way i'm gonna place the tea bags this way three but i'm not uh, placing them one next to each another one i'm keeping space between them just to measure how big ish piece i need i'm gonna fold this one right here so i'm actually using one and a half page here i'm gonna rip off this one I'm going to fold it on half, rip it, and then these two pieces I'm going to fold on half, fold on half, and glue them and reinforce them. I'm going to use them as the sides of my boxes, or of my box, so I'm going to glue them straight away, and they have a time to dry. So then I can fold them easily and this gluing just for to make it reinforced a little bit more stronger because it's box. I'm going to place them aside. Now this one. I'm going to fold it on three pieces like this and again it's ish it's not exact it's kind of ish this size have to be wider than my tea bag here it's exactly and here is wider and i'm kind of matching the sides to make it straight here and in this one i will fold over like this and again i'm gonna glue these to reinforce my book page first one side and now the next side so i do have a reinforced piece here now i can fold it into my box 
I'm gonna choose what I would like. I think I'm gonna keep this one on the top of my box. I'm gonna grab one tea bag and either this way or this way, it depends how deep pocket I would like to have. I'm gonna place it here and fold the front or the one part or one end <laughs> of the book page like this, matching these two sides. So the folding will be straight here. Now I'm gonna take the opposite uh, side and fold it here to that edge. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. I'm gonna keep small gap in there and fold and open. Now uh, I'm gonna get up this one and here I'm gonna create a bottom of my box so how deep i want to have that box i'm gonna fold it here and i don't want to have that too much just slightly about half inch so like this and really you don't have to have measurements or a ruler here you will just fold it the way you like the look and i'm gonna get up again this one and fold it to that previous fold like before not to the end but again to that side i folded before and again i'm gonna try to keep there that a little gap like before with this easy folding i have created base for my box without any measuring without any scoring you can do this i'm gonna grab these two and here i'm gonna measure how big piece i need i'm gonna place it here fold this one over so i can see that the pieces are too long So I'm gonna cut them to the size I need. And now I'm gonna fold them. Uh, I'm gonna place it over the gap which I have created here as a bottom of my box. So I'm gonna grab this. This is the size of the front pocket so this is the size of the front pocket this is a small one so with the size of the front pocket i'm gonna place it that way and i'm gonna fold this with same gap so here and i'm gonna follow this fold and make it straight again i'm gonna match the side here and here now I can place it here and I'm gonna fold that opposite fold right there and just remember it's from book page it should be kind of like whimsical or that primitive art that nature or farmhouse which looks primitive but it's kind of cool so i'm gonna place it here and fold that next one place it opposite way and fold this one so now i do have two sides one here one here I'm gonna take double-sided tape for this and I'm gonna put double-sided tape on these edges
So I do have double-sided tape on both sides. So I'm gonna grab my box and before I will glue these here and here and then the that part. I'm gonna create a flap. So this will be pocket and this will be flap of my box. And I wanna have that flap a little bit decorative with these angled uh, angled sides. So I'm gonna fold the sides together, hold it here, and with the scissors I'm gonna cut it in small angle like this. With this folding I also marked slightly where there is a middle of that flap here, right here. And at that point I'm gonna fix the closure. For the closure, I'm gonna uh, use the string, this Utah string, and the measurement I took uh, when I had folded this that way. So I took a part and I went this way. Here it was like middle of my string. So I did measure it like this and I'm always adding a little bit more extra just in case. So this is my measurement. And now I can fix into that future flap uh, my closure. So first I'm gonna punch the hole in that middle of the flap like this now i'm gonna grab the string which i folded on half i'm gonna slide it in and keep a little bit of that string peeking out i'm gonna get up eyelet Fold this over. I'm gonna slide the eyelet in that hole. Now I'm gonna take the string and place it around from one side and place it around the eyelet from other side as well. And now I can fix it. So, once this will be closed, I can wrap the string around, slide it through to this loop and make a bow, like here. Here you can see that loop and I make a bow here. I will show you soon. Now I can open it. I will get up one, this one side of the box. gonna fold it and glue this here I'm gonna grab that second piece I'm gonna glue it here now I'm gonna take off this and I'm gonna Make sure that here on the bottom it's matching the corner, corner, corner. And I'm gonna glue this one here. And I'm gonna do same on that opposite side. Matching corner to corner and these sides. And glue it together. I'm gonna grab my bone folder and press it from inside. And my box is done. I'm gonna grab the box. I'm 
place my tea bags inside. Fold this over. Now I can take one end of the string. Which way you are? This way. Slide it through the loop. Come on, go there. And I can tie it a bow here. So that's my another tea bag holder. This cute little box. I do believe that it's not too hard to create it. Yes, it, it does take a little bit of time. But it's cute little box from book page. It looks... Uh, Beautifully vintage if you will add there some sewing, maybe uh, the tapes, uh, some washi tapes for for decorative effect. I do believe this could be a really cute uh, and beautiful tea bag holder. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how you can create this cutie. Uh, it's kind of like my favorite. And it's with the same type of closure. Or if you don't want to do this one, you can use Velcro closure. And it's tea bag holder where you do have your teas uh, on the side. You can actually do both sides, but I choose to do just one side. And here, if I will put some card, I can write a message as well. So this is cute little closure or cute little tea bag holder made as an envelope. For making this uh, tea bag holder, I'm going to be using again a double sided or a double page. I'm going to reinforce here in the middle where the original fold is because it will be fold again. So to make sure that it will hold both sides, I'm going to reinforce it with this medical tape. It's not too thick, it's nice and thin tape, but I know it will hold nicely. So I'm going to fold my book page again on half. And how I did measure that? Uh, I took three tea bags. I took this uh, double page and I have folded both sides to the middle first. One here and another one here. And as you can see, I do have that small gap between folds. Once I had it this way, I tried if I will place these three bucks here so I can close it without those tea bucks being visible which works for me and then once I knew that this will be size of the future envelope I did imagine how big flap I would like to have like here and because I actually like this side size uh, I'm gonna measure it it's eight centimeters eight centimeters flap so uh, once I knew that this will be uh, how wide my pocket will be then I folded this one in some kind of measurement I'm gonna make it here those eight centimeters and fold So this will be my closure side, this one. So I'm going to keep it all together. This I'm going to make a shorter. Here will be these three tea bags. So I'm going to cut off this. I'm going to fold it one more time. And actually, we do have nice and thin a ruler here which I can use sometimes like a letter opener do you remember those letter openers with the metal uh, side which can open or uh, you know uh, ripped 
but nicely ripped <laughs> paper. So I'm using this one sometimes when I don't want to cut with my scissors. Uh, I'm going to reinforce also the flap of that envelope with part of this. So here I can actually use my scissors here and cut it right next to that fold. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the glue. And this piece I'm going to glue on that opposite side with that. I'm reinforcing future flap of my little holder. Oops. So this is going to be here. Now I'm also going to glue this down and reinforce all this side with that. With it. And fold and glue it all together. So the side which will create flap and the kind of like back hole back of my holder it's drying and here on this side I need to fix those three tea bags. They will be here once it's all done and as you can see they can fit in there when you are well, when you are, when they are <laughs> overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to uh, create slots, slots in angle on this piece. To make sure that those slots are in a nice and a neat position, like here I can show you that I do have them nice, um, neatly done. So to make, make it this way, I need to draw a lines for myself here on this side, on this last part. Because I do have here this picture, uh, I'm going to reinforce it uh, or cover it. Uh, in that previous one, I did use this clear packaging tape. But here, the clear packaging tape will don't help me to kind of mute that picture underneath. So here, I'm going to use this brown packaging tape. It will make same... Uh, job for me that it will reinforce the piece of uh, the book page and the tea box will hold in there neatly so I'm gonna glue that packaging tape here so I do have prepared the side where there will be slide slided slide uh, my tea bags before I will start to draw I'm gonna also add the double sided tape here because I do have here this tape I need something what will hold properly after I do have cut it slots in there so I'm gonna use double sided tape and put double sided tape on this this and this side here Here and here. So in the spot between double sided tapes, I do have space for my three tea bags. And I know they should sit here on the bottom. So that will be first part where I will draw a line. And I'm gonna make a line close to that fold just visible line straight with this side so uh, parallel is that the right word, word parallel line here that will be bottom of my pocket i'm gonna grab one back place it here and now i'm gonna imagine uh, in which angle i would like to have that pocket for my uh, christmas tree uh, christmas now tree but tea so i think i would like to have it from here probably somewhere here so i know that i'm gonna be cutting the line in this angle And now I would like to have another two lines similar. So first what I'm going to uh, draw, it's another line here in this point. 
again make it parallel with this one so like this now i'm gonna be using my ruler to make space between lines so i'm gonna place my ruler on this line in the same angle just to follow that line and draw from the point to the point and one more time and draw from the point to the point here now i know where to cut with my knife all my cutting is done so now i can take off back of the double sided tape and i can fold it over and check if i made the pockets and the right spot and i do have three beautiful pockets which i can fold over there and fold this one here so now i just need to finish it first i'm gonna create a flap i like to have a flap of this pocket in kind of like um envelope style so i'm gonna fold the corners together and with my scissors cut it in the angle and slightly in the angle with this folding i also marked where there is a middle of the flap which is here so because i will create again that uh, string closure i'm gonna punch the hole in there So I do have it prepared for my closure, but before I will add there that closure, I'm going to grab washi tape and I will decorate all inside and all outside with the washi tape I have here. So now I can measure how big piece of the string I will need. So I'm going to hold it here and wrap around to the top. Here will be half of the string. And I can try it straight away. So if it will be peaking like this, I will have the ends here. So I will have this. For making a bow, I can add there a little bit more, just in case. So I do have it folded here. And same like before, I'm going to slide the string through the hole. I'm gonna grab an eyelet, place the eyelet through the hole. Now I'm gonna put one string on other one side, the other string on the other side, and now I can fit or fix the eyelet. Like this and i like to use hammer just to make sure it's holding nicely now where are those key bags One, two, 
así. And you can use here, instead of making this one, you can use the Velcro. Put one piece of Velcro here and then just glue it on that opposite side and you will have, you know, Vel Velcro closure. Now I can slide it through the loop. And that's my little decorative holder. My total favorite from all these, which I showed you. And that's all my sharing for today. So I hope you did enjoy it and maybe you found some inspiration. So either if you would like to create a usual and very famous uh, tea bag holders or something a little bit different, I hope you found your favorite. Uh, these are perfect for uh, Christmas gifts or happy mail gifts for stocking, you know, these packages. You don't have to put their tea bags. You can put their little chocolates or maybe gift cards. It's always choice what you will put inside. Uh, I hope you found some favorite and you will try it. Go to have a look in your stuff, in your old book pages and try something what you will create for this uh, this Christmas. If you like this video, please share that with your friends and family. It will help to my channel to grow and have nice big audience and thank you so much for that i will appreciate it i wish you all beautiful day take care of yourself and i will come back soon bye